in the last presentation we completed the decimal to bcd encoder let's do octal to binary in this one as you already know in case of octal number system the base or radix r is equal to 8 which means it is having 8 distinct digits and they are from 0 to 7 this is something you already know now if i ask you to convert this 761 in octal to binary so how you are going to do it I have already explained this in a separate lecture when we started the digital electronics we do conversion by taking each digit in uh, your octal number system and converting it to the corresponding binary okay so 7 7 is written as 1 1 1 you can see here 7 is 1 1 1 and we require 3 bits to convert a single octal number to binary 6 is written as 1 1 0 here you can see 1 1 0 and 1 on the other hand is written as 0 0 1 0 0 1 so this is the number in binary so it is clear that we require 3 bits in binary to encode a single number in octal this is actually encoding this process is encoding I have encoded 761 to binary in case of encoders in case of encoders when we are doing octal to binary there are 8 inputs okay 8 inputs and if there is 8 input we are having 3 output we saw n is equal to 2 to the power m where n is the number of input and m is the number of output you can put n equal to 8 and find the value of m it will be 3 and also at a time only a single input will be high so we are going to require 3 bit to represent that single high input for example if 3 is high the b0 b1 b2 will have values equal to 1 1 0 you can see here 3 is 1 1 0 similarly if 7 is high b0 b1 b2 will be 1 1 1 so in this manner we will encode the octal to binary okay so the next step is to find out the values for b2 b1 b0 like we did in the last presentation so let's do it let's first see for b2 when it is high b2 is high for the last four cases and it is low for the first four cases so for the last four cases if we see the inputs are 4 5 6 7 so b2 is equal to 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 which means if out of 4 5 6 7 any input is high b2 will be high let's see for b1 okay b1 is high for these two cases when the input is 2 3 and uh, for the last two cases so it is 2 or 3 or 6 or 7 and for b0 it is high when any odd input is high 1 3 5 7 so 1 or 3 or 5 or 7 this is what we have to find from the truth table now let's move to the implementation part again I have copied it from the book because we don't have time to implement it it's a very simple implementation so you can do it by yourself you can cross check from this circuit this one is your 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is your OR gate and this output is your P2 you can see B2 is equal to 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 4 5 6 7 and all are going to the OR gate similarly this one is your B1 and this one is your B0 so this is all that you need to know about the octal to binary encoder a very simple topic similarly you can implement the hexadecimal to binary encoder in place of 3 bit you are going to require 4 bits that we will see in the next presentation